law. He's also said yeah, that in order to make the changes, the security was in the supplemental request, and we work with the Senate to get a bipartisan deal arranged. Uh, John, just on the Oval Office discussions today, <coughs> Speaker Johnson came out and, and, as he said before, that you know, southern border has to be addressed before um, before Ukraine aided funding. Um, they are saying that this shouldn't be done legislatively, more so that it should be done by rolling back executive orders or changing it from an executive perspective. Uh, is that part of these discussions, and is the White House ruling out undoing some of the executive orders from earlier on in the administration? I'd say a couple of things. First, the president has taken executive action at the border, and, he's, and he certainly will continue to do so as appropriate and within the bounds of the law. He's also said yeah, that in order to make the changes, the fixes to border security, you've got to have new legislation. A lot of this has to do with capabilities, funding, I'm sorry, capabilities, uh, personnel, uh, and, and resourcing, if, infrastructure. You, you, you can't just make that happen through executive action, all of that. You've got to have funding behind it, which is why the supplemental request was so important. And the one submitted in October included border security. Uh, and the president said months ago he was willing to have a discussion with the members of Congress about uh, border security. Border security was in the supplemental request. And we worked with the Senate to get a bipartisan deal arranged that uh, that the speaker said he absolutely insisted on, and then when it was delivered to him, he said, no, he didn't want it. So there would have to be a legislative component to this if, let's say, Republicans are saying you can to, unlock Ukraine funding if you were to do something executive-wise on, on We Ukraine. were willing to have a discussion and did with the Senate about border security and Ukraine funding, as well as Israel and the Indo-Pacific. We're still willing to have those discussions. The, the speaker has to decide exactly what he wants to do here and then move out. He says he wants to act in a timely fashion on Ukraine. Well, let's go. Let's get them what they need. And the president is more than willing to have discussions about the border. All right, we got to wrap it up. Good. In October, included border security. Uh, and the president said months action at the border, and, he's, and he certainly will continue to do so as appropriate and within the bounds of the for, um, before Ukraine aided funding. Um, they are saying that this infrastructure, you, you, you can't just make that happen through executive action, all of that. You've got to have funding behind it, which is why the supplemental request was so important. And the ones that because you're saying you can to, uh, unlock Ukraine funding if you were to do something executive wise on, on we and Ukraine funding as well as Israel and the Indo Pacific. That's we're still willing to have those discussions. We we're willing to have a discussion and did with the Senate about. Border security exists to border security. You've got to have new legislation. A lot of this has to do with capabilities. And as he said before, that, you know, southern border has to be addressed before.